Hi learners, in this video we are going to see about the introduction of finite automata. So in this video we are going to see the definition of finite automata and how to check the strings in the finite automata machine. So before entering into this part, just I explain the uh, transition diagram. So here uh, this is uh, states q1, q2, uh, q3 are the state and 0, 1 are the input symbol and the, this arrow mark is represent the starting state. So q1 is a starting state and then this double transition is said to, uh, sorry, the double circle is said to be a accepting state. So here uh, the arrow mark represent the starting state of the machine and the double uh, circle is representing the accepting state of the, that is the final state of the machine. Okay, so now we go to the formal definition of this uh, finite automata. So here this finite automata machine is defined as, uh, defined by the phi tuple, that is Q sigma del Q naught IF. So what is this Q? Q is a finite set of states. So how many states are there in the machines? So that is a set of states. At sigma is an alphabet that is finite alphabet that is the input symbol. What are the input symbols that is accepted by the machine? And del is a transition. So in, the, in this transition uh, for each state uh, with the input symbol and it will go to the another state. So this is uh, Q cross sigma it is a cross product of uh, states and input symbol it will give a state and q naught is a starting state so here this q naught is a single state for any machine there uh, there will be only one starting state and f is a final st state that is a accepting state so f is a set of final state it means it has more than one final state so we could represent the final state as a capital F that is a set of final state. And we can call this as a deterministic finite automata <coughs> because for each input symbol there is exactly what only one transition out of each state. So uh, that is for each input symbol there is exactly only one transition out of each state. So that's why we can call a determinist. That is from the state with the input symbol, there will be only one output. Uh, that is only one transition. It will go to only one uh, state. That's why we can say that it is a deterministic finite automata. And then this is another uh, diagram. So here uh, state is represented as a Q1, Q2, Q3. This I converted into the transition table so here uh, the state is q1 q2 q3 so it will be listed like this uh, q1 q2 q3 set of state and input symbol is 0 and 1 so that also that should be represent set of set of input symbol that's why we are putting inside the curl bracket so the starting state is represented by the arrow mark so here q1 is a starting state and final state is Q2. There may be a more than one final state. That's why we can give us a set of final state that should be represented inside the curl bracket. And then this is said to be a transition. So the transition is represented in this table. That is Q1 state. It is, uh, the machine is in the Q1 state. It receives the input symbol 0. It will come to the Q1 state. So Q1 state. The input symbol 0, it will come to the Q1 state. So the machine is in the Q1 state. The input symbol 1, it will go to the Q2 state. And then here Q1 state, 1 input, it, uh, it will go to the Q2 state. And similarly from Q2, 0 input symbol, it will go to the state Q3. Q2 from input symbol 0, it go to the state Q3. Similarly, from Q2, uh, the 1 as an input, it will return in the same state. So Q2, 1 as an input, it return in the same state. Similarly, from Q3, for both 0 and 1, it will go to the state Q2. <coughs> so Q3 for 0 and 1, it will go to the state Q2. 
okay so now take this um, transition so here instead of q1 just a, a q0 uh, is a starting state <coughs> and q1 is a final state and q2 so the state is q0 q1 q2 so you can we can write like this also instead of table we can write like this also that is a transition of q0 in the input symbol 0 it will come to the state q0 and the, from q0 state 1 as the input symbol it will go to the state q1 q1 and from q1 state with a 0 as an input it will give to uh, give a uh, it will go to the state q2 and from q1 state with the input 1 it return in the same state and then from q2 0 as an input it will go to the state q1 and similarly from q2 1 as an input symbol it will go to the state q1 so we can write like this also so now we will check whether the string is 101 so string is a just a sequence of input symbol so we can check whether this uh, string 101 is accepted by this machine okay so from starting state so here just in the transition just i'm putting the cap symbol above the transition it means there exists more than one input symbol so that is a string more if there is a more than one input symbol then we can put the transition uh, we can put a cap above the transition that represent there exists more than one input state okay so from q0 1 0 1 1 0 1 so we are going to check whether this string is accepted by the uh, by this machine so starting from q0 1 so q0 1 it will go to the state q1 so instead of q0 1 just i am putting a q1 now q1 comma 0 1 so now q1 comma 0 so q1 comma 0 it goes to the state q2 q2 and then q2 comma 1 it goes to the state q1 now it's q1 so q1 is an accepting stage uh, state so that's why that is from q1 so here we can see like this also from q0 1 0 1 it will go to the q1 so this is a accept so this the string 101 is accepted by this machine now we will see the another example that is 0 1 1 0 okay so similarly q0 in 0 as an input it will uh, uh, just return in the same stick q0 and q0 and 1 as an input symbol it will go to the q1 state and q1 comma 1 it will go to the it will uh, return in the q1 state and q1 comma 0 will get a q2 q2 is not a accepting state so we can say that 0 1 0 1 uh, sorry 0 1 1 0 is not accepted by this machine so here uh, when you check like this also this is a starting state and then q 0 1 1 0 so once again uh, tell z starting state q 0 0 1 1 0 so finally it just it comes to the q2 state so the q2 is not a final state so the string 0 1 1 0 is not accepted so similarly we can check whether the string is accepted by the machine so using the transition so in this video we will see what is the what is the definition of finite automata and how to check the uh, whether the string is accepted or not. Thank you.